So what is the best way to remove something from your video in 2019? Hey guys, it's Ross from Flatpak Effects here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to break down a few different options you have for removing something from your video. So I've opened up After Effects and I've imported this video file. And I've also linked to that in the description below if you wanna follow along. And in this particular clip, there's someone crossing the street here at the beginning of this shot and I want to remove them from my shot. Now there's actually a few ways we can go about this. Now in particular, we're going to be looking at the content aware feature, which is built into After Effects, which was added a couple of months ago. And we're also gonna have a look at when you should use this versus when you should use something like Mocha Pro. So jumping over to After Effects, the first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna right click, create a new composition from selection. And I just want to take the first couple of seconds of my clip here. So I'm just going to split that layer, delete that, hit N on my keyboard to bring that over and just trim my comp to that selection. Now Content Aware Fill is a free new plugin that comes already installed in After Effects. So all we have to do to access it is I come up to Window and make sure Content Aware Fill is selected and it's going to pop up here on the side panel. Now the way it actually works is all we have to do is actually first just grab our pen tool and we simply just have to draw a really rough mask that goes around the part of the video that you want to remove. Now the best part here is because it's a mask, we can simply use the automated tracker which is built into After Effects or I can manually animate the keyframes for tracking that mask over my subject. Now in this case, because it's a mask, we could simply just come up to window and come down to tracker, and you could just get After Effects to automatically track that mask over your subject. Now in this case, because we just want a really rough mask and it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm just going to manually keyframe my mask by just creating a few keyframes over my subject here. Now you can expand that mask as you go. And the great thing about this function is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just about creating a really rough mask. Now the most important thing is that it covers the entire part of that subject that you want to remove. So I can just make some fine tune adjustments here as I move through. So we've got a really rough sort of mask that sits over the top. The next step is I want to come down to my mask settings and I want to make sure this is set to subtract. And that's going to remove that part of the video that we want to get rid of. Now the next part is I like to just add a little bit of feather. Anywhere between 10 to 20 pixels would be fine for this. And I find that makes the results a little bit better. Now coming back over to the content aware fill function, it's really easy and basic to use. So all we have to do is just select our fill method. Now you're presented with these three different options. Now the best way to think about these options is that object is basically the one that you're going to be using the most. If you've got a moving background or your subject is moving through your shot, object will most likely be the best method for removing your subject. Now surface is where you've got something that's not actually moving or not revealing a background. So a good way to think about it would be like trying to remove this window frame off this wall. It's at no point revealing what is behind this window on the wall. So that's a really good example of where you'd use the surface. And the edge blend is when you want to actually blur something. So say you had a logo or something in your shot that you wanted to remove, that's where it actually used the edge blend. So in this case, I'm just going to use object. The range is basically just how much of the timeline you want to track. So in this case, I've selected the entire work area. And then all I have to do is just hit generate fill layer. Now After Effects is just going to start analyzing all of this data in the back, and it's automatically going to start creating a fill frame to go over the top. So now that it's done, when I play through, you can see that After Effects has done an amazing job at actually removing that subject from our video. So you can see this is a really easy and powerful plugin that's built straight into After Effects that you can be using in your projects. Now, if you actually zoom in and have a look at more detail here, you can see that it's not entirely perfect. It has created a bit of distortion going around here, and that's perfectly fine. The thing to remember is that the fact that it's so fast and easy to use, that this is probably going to be your best solution for most of your projects. Now, the question then becomes is, why would you use Mocha Pro versus this Content Aware Fill? Now, in this case, Content Aware Fill is basically just filling in that blank space 
with an auto-generated background. Now, there are other ways that you can remove things from video. And one way in particular is where we create a reference frame. Now, I've already done a bunch of tutorials on creating reference frames in Mocha and then using Mocha's tracker to actually track them over your footage. So another way you could actually create a reference frame and then actually add that over the top and track it. So you're creating basically a cover rather than creating a background to go in place. Now it just comes down to case by case depending on the results that you're actually going to get. So you're going to find if you have a shot where the camera's moving through your scene or it's moving around a lot, it's going to actually get varied results when it comes to actually removing something. Now something like Mocha Pro is obviously much, much better at this because it has a tracker that is much more advanced for dealing with more complex camera moves. Now the Mocha Pro function works very similar. And the way that actually works is once we've created that blank space, we would create a reference frame from this and then take that into Photoshop and actually Photoshop our own background into that using the surrounding area or a clone tool or something like that. Then we put that frame back into Mocha and we tell it this is the frame that we want to be in that position and it's going to use that to extrapolate data to basically fill in the blank spaces. Now this all sounds complicated, but the thing to remember is that Mocha is much more advanced when it comes to doing tracking over After Effects built-in tracker. So if you're a professional that wants a professional finish every time, you're probably going to find that Mocha will do a much better job. Now I actually have a bunch of Mocha tutorials that I'll link to in the description below, and these will show you how to remove something by actually adding an overlay over your video and then using the free mocker that's built into After Effects to actually track that in place. Now again, this is an amazing plugin and for most of you in the footage that you're actually going to be working with, this is going to be your best option. So there you go guys, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also check out more tutorials over at flatpackeffects.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.